Hey everyone! Welcome to this video where we'll be solving the expert level Los Angeles Times Sudoku puzzle for August 9, 2023. Let's get started. Let's move to number 1. Only two positions left in the sixth box where value 1 can be placed. No other boxes have just two candidate cells available for the value 1. Let's move to number 2. There are no cells that can be filled with it, and there are no boxes with only two possible positions for it. Therefore, we will skip this number for now. Let's move to number 3. In the third block, the number 3 can be directly placed. Let's move to number 4. Only two positions left in the second box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the sixth box where value 4 can be placed. Let's move to number 5. In the first block, the number 5 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the second box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the second box where value 2 can be placed. Please note that the cells marked in purple contain number pairs. Only two positions left in the first box where value 2 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 5 can be placed. Let's move to number 6. Only two positions left in the second box where value 6 can be placed. In the sixth block, the number 6 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the sixth box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the sixth box where value 5 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 6, value 5 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 7. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the third box where value 1 can be placed. In the fourth block, the number 6 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 3 can be placed. In the seventh block, the number 6 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 2 can be placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 3 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 7, value 3 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 1. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 6 can be placed. Let's move to number 7. Only two positions left in the third box where value 7 can be placed. Only two positions left in the sixth box where value 7 can be placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 7 can be placed. There is a hidden pair in the box 7. Notice how the candidates 3, 7 occur in only two cells in this. We have two candidates and only two cells where they can be placed in box 7. Therefore all other candidates can be removed from these two cells. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 2 can be placed. In the seventh block, the number 1 can be directly placed, please note that the cells marked in purple contain number pairs. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 1 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 9, value 1 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 8. Only one position left in the sixth box where value 1 can be placed. In the fourth block, the number 2 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the first box where value 2 can be placed. 
only 7 is missing in the second column. In the sixth block, the number 2 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the sixth box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the sixth box where value 3 can be placed. In the ninth block, the number 3 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 3 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 7 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the second box where value 7 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 2, value 7 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in row 3. Only one position left in the third box where value 7 can be placed. Only 9 is missing in the seventh column. Only two positions left in the second box where value 1 can be placed. Only two positions left in the first box where value 1 can be placed. Let's move to number 8. Only two positions left in the first box where value 8 can be placed. In the third block, the number 8 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the first box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the third box where value 1 can be placed. Only one position left in the first box where value 1 can be placed. Only 9 is missing in the first box. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 8 can be placed. Let's move to number 9. In the fourth block, the number 9 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the sixth box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 9 can be placed. In the ninth block, the number 9 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 1 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 1 can be placed. In the eighth block, the number 4 can be directly placed. Please note that the cells marked in purple contain number pairs. Only one position left in the second box where value 4 can be placed. Only one position left in the second box where value 5 can be placed. In the fifth block, the number 4 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 2 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 5 can be placed. The next solve techniques need to be based on the candidates. All candidates have been filled in. The cells marked in purple have been skipped as they already contain number pairs. There is a naked pair in column 4. We have two cells in only two possible values to be placed there. The candidates 2, 7 can be removed from all other cells in the same column. Cell row 6 column 4 is a naked single. Only one position left in the 8th box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the 5th column where value 9 can be placed. Cell row 1 column 6 is a naked single. Only one is missing in the first row. Cell row 7 column 6 is a naked single. Only 6 is missing in the 7th row. Cell row 5 column 6 is a naked single. Cell row 5 column 8 is a naked single. 
Only 9 is missing in the fifth row. Cell row 4 column 8 is a naked single. Only 8 is missing in the sixth box. Only 7 is missing in the sixth row. Cell row 3 column 5 is a naked single. Only 7 is missing in the second box. Cell row 4 column 5 is a naked single. Only 2 is missing in the fifth box. Only 7 is missing in the sixth column. Cell row 8 column 4 is a naked single. Only 1 is missing in the eighth row. Only 2 is missing in the fourth column. Only 8 is missing in the eighth box. This is the final result of the puzzle. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thanks again for tuning in and happy puzzling!